This is a program that will input from a graphics screen and output to another graphics screen. Just a simple demonstration. It's based on Python 3 and it uses John Zella's graphics library. It's an open source available library and he did a really good job with it. This is the X coordinate for the window size and the Y coordinate for the window we're going to create. The background color will be gray 95 and that's for window number one. Uh, so here we're going to create the first window and we're going to call it text static location and here's the size of the window that we got from up here. Uh, window two is going to be the input text and here again is the size of the window and we're going to set the background to white so they should be somewhat discernible. So now we have our two windows set up. We're going to define the text graphic out and these are all the parameters. This is X and Y and X2, Y2 so this will be the location of like the lower left and upper right corners of an input box. Font size, color, message, text and so on. So I wrote these so I could copy this out and put it in another program and use this function without uh, horsing around with it a lot. So this is a transportable function. So first what we're going to do is we're going to erase the rectangle starting at this point, whatever point we were given. And we're going to fill with the background color which we set up there. Uh, we're going to erase the outline so there's an outline around the uh, around the box. And then we're going to uh, do that draw to the window. Then we're going to put a message. So we're going to get the uh, message from up here and then we're going to set the font. I'm going to use Arial. I'm going to set the font size. Uh, I'm going to set the text color and then I'm going to draw it to the window. Now you're probably asking yourself, wow that's a lot to do for just one thing. Do I have to do that? And the answer is no. There are defaults on all of these things uh, except for the locations of course. But there's defaults on all of these things and they're very reasonable defaults. I just wanted to do this to do the maximum to kind of extract everything I could out of the function. Okay, and then when it comes down here it returns back. Uh, we have the text inbox, so this is where we're going to type the text in and it's going to show up on this one. This is the output. So we'll enter our text in this box and I just call it input box. The entry point is going to be here. Uh, set fill is yellow, so the box where we're going to type into is yellow. Uh, it's Arial, it's size 18, it's italic. Again, I just wanted to demonstrate all these different things. Text color is red. The uh, default uh, text, it will be default input. This is kind of annoying to have in there. I'll show you why, but I wanted to put it in there for this demo. And then we're going to draw to the second window, and then we're going to wait for a mouse click and that's pretty much it. This is this will grab the text and then we're going to return the input string. Okay? So initialize and run example uh, for x in range 0, 3, 1. We're going to do this uh, text graphic out. We're going to run this program. Uh, win 2, get mouse, win close. So this is just the cleanup. We're going to sit in window 2 and wait for the mouse click. When we get the mouse click we're going to close the two windows and we're going to print done and we will be all finished. So you say, wow, what does that do? Well, this is what it does. This is the input. This is that default text. It's in red, like we specified. Get rid of the... This is the test. When we click on it, you see it appears up here. So this is what this is a demonstration of. This is one of those things I keep in my sample library so that if I want to do input text, I can quickly grab this routine out of this bit of code and apply that somewhere and then this is the output to a static location in another window. Okay, well that was it. Yes, it's a pretty simple thing to do. However, there's a significant amount of code if you want to use all of the features. Okay, well I hope you find that useful and interesting in your Python graphics programming.